Welcome to virtualnetworkingconcepts.com. Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about how to configure two different networks using router in GNS3. First of all, I need minimum one router for configuring two different networks and then I need two switch for two different networks and I need two end devices for, uh, for communication, uh, end devices for host. Okay, first, first of all, I am going to choose one router from, I am choosing this router 3600 model router. Okay, then I'm going to choose my switches. I need two switches. I'm taking one switch here. I take up no problem. I'm taking here one hub. Then I'm going to uh, end uh, device means our, our host. Just to click the host icon. Once we then click that we virtual PC here one and here one virtual PC. Okay, by default this router has only one fast Ethernet port. In this case I'm going to add another another one fast Ethernet port. So go to router, right click configure option, then click R1, click slot option, choose this first NM IEFETX model slot, click it OK. Once you make the connection between this, this, this R12, this hub, then go up to do your PC, OK, then then go to click pass it in one slash zero to hub do, then hub do to, then hub, hub, hub do to your end device. Okay, once it is done, click remove the cabling option. Just close it this session. Once you start the topology. So right now, the two different network topology uh, ready to work. So you, you can see your what is the status of routers and so on with PC details. Once it is done, you can check your start your router via console. So router ready to start that. Once you check that virtual PC consoles. Okay, PC one is also ready. Check the PC2 console. PC2 is making some problem. Once I'm going to activate, stop. Just right click and start. Console. Okay, right now PC2 also ready to work. Once it's done, you can just assign that. Uh, just the labeling of the what is the network you are going to configure. This is my network 192.168.1.0 network. This is network. Then this is my another network. 192.168.2.0 network. So I am going to make one diagram of this. This is one network. I don't want this. We will discuss about this. So this is the one network. This is the one network. This is one of the network. This is one of the So right now we are going to convert two different networks. So first of all, I am going to just make a label part of the IP. I am going to assign that this router interface 192.168.1. Okay. Once it is done, you can go there. Make it this 192.168.2.1. Okay. So here I am going to this time going to label here 192.168.1.2. This IP I am going to assign to my PC. Okay. Go to that. 182.168.2.2. Once you've done, you can start to work your router. So first I am going to configure my router. So already router session is there. I am going to open the session. Okay. So first I want to check what other interface I am having. So IP interface. This command is to what other routers have in your what other interface have in your router. So pass it in at 1 plus 0, pass it in at uh, 1, 1 plus 0 and 0 plus 0. Okay, first of all I am going to configure this this or this interface. So I am going to configuration mode con terminal interface. I am taking pass it in at 0 plus 0. Then I am passing the IP IP address. 192.168.1.1 subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 okay so right now that port is down status here we can see down status i am going to enable that port status using no shutdown command once you then come back again come back set the uh, status of the interface using so ip interface using brief command B R I E F. Okay, you can see right now that interface covers the 182.162.1.1 IP address. 
that put the statuses up. So I'm going to next to configure the this interface 18162.1 IP address. Okay, I'm going to the router, go to configuration mode. Okay, then assign the IP address up. I'm going to choose that interface. Interface fast Ethernet 1 slash 0. Okay, enter IP address is 182.168.2.1 base 255.255.255.0 just a mistake sorry and 255.0 okay once you click complete that right now that uh, that interface status is down so i am going to enable that interface using no shutdown command using no shutdown command okay once you click then you can come back exit we exit Okay, so verify that uh, both interface status using so IP interface this command. Okay, you can now see this interface positive zero zero have the one eighty two one six two hundred one IP address. Then another interface one one zero have the one eighty two one six two hundred interface. Right now that both interface successfully configured the both interface status is success up status. Okay, our router set configuration successfully done. Okay, I am going to uh, just what is I our basic routing protocol I, I have I am going to take that so. IP route. This command is to do what is the, the basic route, route uh, routing have in your, in your router. Basically, I'm going to have the connected routers only. No need any routing protocol. So by default, it will taking the uh, default route uh, connected routers only. Connected networks only. Okay. So I'm going to see means connected network, connected network routers, routing protocols. By default, it will work successfully. Okay. Next, I'm going to configure my first to PC. I'm going to then first to PC open the PC console. I want to set check for any IPs that are not, there are not no IPs there. I'm going to attend the IP IP 192.168.1.2 space 255.255.255.0 slash 192.168.1.1. Okay, this is my one minute. We take this and we see one dot. Okay, once it's done, click press enter. This PC is going to check any duplicate IPs or not. There, there are no duplicate IPs there. Uh, there. This guy is going to take other IP or it will take automatically. Check the other IP address of your PC. Okay, this is my IP address 182.162.1.2 and my the mask is 24 bit mask, default dominant mask and my gateway IP address 192.162.1.1. Okay, once you click done, you can verify your PC12, your router from this PC2, this router. Verify the status of communication. Pin. That is my router IP address 192.168.1.1. Okay, pin was successfully done. So your router and PC successfully communicated. This side network was 1.0 network successfully done. Okay, once we go to this side is computer, next we're going to 2.0 network network. Okay, already this port is also configured using this router IP address. So this next I'm going to configure my PC2 IP configuration. Check any IP address, IPs that are not first. No IP is there. So I'm going to configure the IP address of this this PC IP 192.168.2.2 My subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 and my default gateway is 192.168.2.1 Okay You will done check what is the IP address of your PC So IP command my IP address is 192.168.2.1 My subnet mask is 24 bit mask and my default gateway is 192.162.2.1 Okay, so just now I am going to check this PC to this router both the communication successfully committed or not I am going to check using pin command Okay, I am going to check pin what is my router IP address 192.168.2.1 Go on, okay. Pin was successfully done So right now your both the network was successfully communicated to the your router Once you will then go to your router I am going to check from my router side using pin command pin 192.168.1.2 PC. This is also working fine. I'm going to check 2.2. 2 This is also working fine. Okay. Right now the both networks are communicated properly. So next I'm going to check this network to this network. Communication uh, available or not. I'm going to check. So first I'm going to take taking this PC1. This is my IP address 192.168.1.2. I'm going to ping to my another P host 192.168.2.2. Ping. 192.168.2.2 Okay, this was successfully communicated. So this both network was successfully communicated using this router. I am going to do check the PC2 
check with the pass I am first to be see one eight two dot one sixty eight dot one dot two okay this also working fine thank you okay okay both the network was successfully communicated this is the basic configuration of uh, using um, router to configure two different networks thanks for watching thank you